Well, folks, Colleen Ballinger is back. She dropped a video on her Colleen Ballinger YouTube channel, and she titled it Fall Vlog. Now, this is an anticipated video that so many people were waiting for her to come back to. Now, as of the time making this video, the video has been up for one hour, and the comments on her video is very interesting. I think that she might be filtering comments, like deleting comments or something, because upon reading some of the comments, I see things like, I'm glad you're back, didn't expect to get emotional watching this, but I'm relieved to know that you were inching your way through this dark time. I'm so happy that you're back. You were truly missed. And quite honestly, folks, I'm shocked that those comments are positive. I wouldn't be surprised if there's bots, fake comments or something. I don't understand this because so many people do not agree with what Colleen Ballinger did. Now, in her apology video, this is my opinion. From the first part I saw, I didn't see her shed not one tear. I did not her I did not see her make an apology to Adam McIntyre or any of the other victims. She just totally was like a blanketed apology and woe is me and making it about herself and I was in therapy and I'm needed to take a time off the internet. It to me it was just fake snake the house. Now let me roll you a small clip. Because the rest of it is a vlog. It's her walking around her house talking about her chickens, her kids, and her Halloween decorations. So the the beginning of it is her actual apology, if you want to call it that. And um, to me, it was a clickbait vlog. Uh, I don't think that she should have um, went on with the vlog in it. I think it should have just been an apology, one and done. Own up to it. Say some names. But let me roll you the clip. Here we go. Really, I and I try to find positive things in every experience. Everything else was just traumatizing, and I think it did more damage than it did good. And I'm just talking to everyone every single day. Um, obviously, the last video that I posted on here um, is really embarrassing, to say the least. I was being accused of some pretty awful things, and I just was mad, and... Um, I should have handled that situation with maturity and empathy, but instead I just let my ego take over and I'm really disappointed in myself. Um, so, here's what I want to say today. Um, over the last 15 years of my career, there have been moments where I was immature and inappropriate with some of my comedy and there were times when I did not put enough thought into some of my fan interactions. And because of that behavior, people got hurt. And I am so sorry. I never wanted to hurt anybody, but it's clear that I did, and I feel so terrible about that. Um, I also feel like there's probably people who are disappointed or feel abandoned by me because of my silence over the last few months. Um, and I'm so sorry about that as well. I needed to take time to um, you know, make sure I, I was listening and learning as much as possible. And um, I also needed to um, get the help that I needed to, to be okay. Um, I'm a mom first and foremost before anything else. And um, I needed to take care of my kids. So um, that's where I've been. And, um, but I'm back and I'm here now. And um, I am not a perfect person, and there are plenty of things in my past that I wish I could go back and redo and um, fix and change. Um, I don't have control over any of that, and I don't have control over the things people say about me. I only have control over my actions moving forward. And so I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that I create a positive, kind, inclusive, safe space online with my content. And if you want to be a part of my journey online, I would love to have you. And if not, I completely understand. Um, I do not expect anyone to welcome me back with open arms. I don't expect to change anyone's mind with this video. I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm sorry. And um, I wanted to try to show people that it's possible for someone to grow and learn and be better after making mistakes many, many years ago. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to try to vlog again, and today I'm just going to film my day and share some simple happy moments, and 
you know, start the process of starting over. Um, and I know it's going to be awkward and clunky at first as I try to get back into the swing of things, but I'm going to try. So that's what I'm going to do. And thank you for listening. And, and thank you to anyone who supported me in any capacity over the last 15 years. I've really, really appreciated it. Um, but yeah, let's get started with the day and see what happens, I guess. I honestly do not know how to transition from this conversation into a vlog, but um, let's try. Where do I even begin? So much has happened since the last time I vlogged. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, the majority of the last few months has just been spent in therapy. But other than that, um, the twins just turned two, which is wild. Flynn's gonna be five soon. Um, they had a really fun Halloween, and we actually still have some Halloween decorations up, so I'll have to show you some of those. I usually have already decorated for Christmas completely by this point, but I'm a little late to that this year. Um, I think the last time I vlogged, we had just gotten four of our chickens. They were now, I posted this on my Twitter, so check me out there as well. People are saying that she's extremely delusional in the video. And also people in the comments on my Twitter are saying that never trust someone that only decorates in beiges and whites. She's back for AdSense season. And I feel like there might be onto something because the holidays are right around the corner. And this is a time when a lot of online creators start doing a vlogmas or start, you know, posting every day so they can capitalize on the AdSense and things of that nature. So I really do feel like she came back because rent is due. Now there have been mountains of speculation on social media that she was going to return like literally this week. And I find that so interesting that what the rumors were speculating is she actually did come back. I find the video to be very fake. I didn't think that it was genuine at all. I didn't see her shed a tear. And in all honesty, I think that she owed us more. I think that this also should have been a more in-depth apology. She should have said some names. And ultimately, I think it was a slap in the face to a lot of her followers. Um, I think that she brought up her kids for sympathy and her being a mother and just showing the manipulation in the video of her trying to come across like a humble housewife and things of that nature. She didn't even address anything uh, such as the green face situation or anything else. Her shopping at Ross. We count her. We found her traveling. She was at the airport. None of that. You just want us to believe that you were just at home this whole entire time. You did not even address the fact that your concert got canceled. It's, to me, it's very reflect deflect. And I really did see a lot of emotional manipulation in this video. Now, I'm going to take a deeper look into her thumbnail. Even her thumbnail, to me, it, it's very clickbaity. She's emotional manipulating people she looks sad in this thumbnail when in all actuality at this part in the video she wasn't even discussing what we think she was talking about it was all at the beginning of the video and i'm actually quite shocked that she gave us a quote-unquote apology in the beginning of the video and not putting it toward the end of the video and making us wait to see it like some of her other friends has. I mean, in the thumbnail, she's looking down. She looks distraught, sad, even down to the colors that she's wearing and the outfit. To me, it's all planned. The bangs, the hair, the makeup, the jewelry. It's it, To me, it's all emotional manipulation. The fact that she's sitting down in a room, mm -hmm, a clean room with white sheets, Coming across innocent. Girl, bah! Another lie. This was horrible. This was the fluffy, cozy sweater. What is going on? This is where we're at now. And then she's walking around. And I don't know how I'm going to transition to... <sighs> okay, hey, guys. Take out my Halloween decoration. It was... Busted the house, girl. If it was anybody else. If it was anybody else. Who did this? Y'all would hold them to the flames. If this was Jeffrey Star, Shane Dawson, James Charles, Ethan Klein, okay, Mr. Beast, if this anybody else, y'all would be up in arms. All right, so here's the other gag too. 
So on this part of the video, she's sitting down in her living room and again, same vibe, clean house. Like it's, it's fake the house, girl. What house is clean that, that well, okay? And when I clean my house, it only stays clean for about 30 minutes and then I wreck it again because why? I'm busy working. But check this out, okay? This is a fall vlog. She didn't take us anywhere. She was in the same outfit the whole entire time of the video. The same outfit the whole entire time. It wasn't even a good vlog. It wasn't even a good vlog. She didn't even take us to Target. She that, A vlog, you take people to Target. She didn't even show us around. She didn't leave the house. Like, what is going on? Uh, obviously, you went to Marshall's, Ross, TJ Maxx. Obviously, you were at the airport. Obviously, you got canceled your tour. And we didn't hear anything about that. This is boring. This was so fake and contrived. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You guys, put in the comments, chat, wake up chat, put in the comments, I can't believe it. Alright, just put just put that, if you made this far in the video, just put I can't believe it. Colleen Ballinger, this video did you no favors. And I know, because I've heard from behind the scenes, that Colleen Ballinger watches all these videos about her ass. So Colleen, if you're sitting down on your couch eating your bonbons and you're watching this... Just know we're on to you. You're a fake snake. And we see what you did with this video. And you still owe us a proper apology because this was worse. And that's coming from me because I made worse apologies. So this is horrible. This is horrible. And you know what I also feel like, folks? I think this whole entire thing was just for entertainment purposes only. She's, she's literally putting up a show. She is putting up a show. She knows people are going to click. She knows people are going to watch. She gave us bare minimum. It's giving lazy energy. And to me, at this point, it's a slap in the face to the fans and to the victims. And at this point, I'm like, well, here it is. <sighs> Give us a show. Put on a show, girl. Give us the show. You should have played a ukulele at the end of the video. Put us a show. Give us a show. Throw on the... um. The Wizard of Oz outfits are dancing around. Give us give us some type of theatrical moment because she loves to perform. And this is just another way of her doing it is putting on a show. She didn't address the countless documentaries that were made about her. She didn't address her ex-husband. Uh, I mean, at least she could have did get on here and say he's a low-down, dirty, sneaky snake and lie in the house on her name. She didn't even say that. She didn't even say that. It's like she just totally disregarded what so many people wanted to hear from her. What this video should have been about, we should have heard about her experience. We should have heard about the people lying on her name. We should have heard about how they're wrong. She's right. We had no accountability in this video. And I can't stand it. But it doesn't matter what I think about it, folks. Let me know what you guys think about the Colleen Ballinger video in the comments down below because I really want to know. This is talk of the town. Everybody I know is talking about this right now. Everybody I know. And I feel like she came back for the holidays and she's going to have to, what's next? What? Where does Colleen Ballinger go from here? What is next? Is she going to post tomorrow? Do we do we get a vlog tomorrow, guys? Do we get a blog a vlog once a week, twice a week? Is she doing vlogmas? Is she doing Colleen Ballinger must? Is she doing Rich must? What is going on? Are we gonna see her? She she's setting herself up here because she said, well, usually by now I would have decorated my house for Christmas, but I'm so depressed and sad. So now the next vlog we're gonna expect. Just mark my words. Mark my words. The next y'all subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Because mark my words, I'm gonna be on it. Her next vlog, I guarantee you she's gonna be decorating the house for the holidays. You guys, I'm buying a Christmas tree. Go with me to Walmart, buy a Christmas tree. Oh, okay. Watch me with the kids. We're gonna decorate it. This is pure entertainment purpose at this point. She's put on a show. Let me know what you think about that, girl. I cannot believe. The comments I saw on her video are, are so positive. I cannot believe it. And there's going to be a, some people in the comments that are going, well, why, why, 
Why did she come back right now? It's for the money, girl. It's for the money. Those YouTubers, if you post around this time, it's double the money, double the AdSense. Everything is double. And I feel like she is low on money. She's struggling. She needs to pay that house bill. She has a car note. She has to put food in her mouth. She has to put, feed her kids. Do the things that she does. And so she's going to um, milk it. She's milking it. She's worse than Trisha Paytas. She's going to milk it. Trisha Paytas, I guarantee you, is going to come out and say something, girl. Like, I mean, she's going to milk it the house, too. She didn't even apologize to Trisha Paytas publicly. She didn't even apologize to Rich Lux. She didn't even apologize to Ethan Klein. She didn't even apologize to the community that she's offended. What have you learned? You said you went to therapy. Okay, you know what, Colleen Ballinger? You're a liar. Because if you truly went to therapy and you didn't vlog it, you didn't make a little documentary series about it, people would have loved to see that. People would have been more inclined to believe what you said. I could sit up here and say, I went to therapy. I went to therapy. Girl, put, put a little footage. Put a little footage into it. If you want to. We don't have to. I mean, everyone's in their own world. But, you know, at this magnitude, at you know, come on. At this huge of a magnitude, everything she says and does is going to be looked under a microscope. You know, the people who they follow Eugenia Cooney's every move, uh, Amberlynn Reed's every move, Foodie Booty, Jeffree Star's every move. Okay, this is it. This is it. This woman, Colleen Ballinger, has now entered the new season. People are going to watch everything she does. They're going to clock every single lie. They're going to cross-pollinate it. They're going to fact-check all that. Watch. And I'm telling you, folks, we're on to something. I am telling you, folks, we are on to something. This is huge. Everything. I'm looking at every detail, every angle, every lighting, every drop of mascara, foundation, it's all thought out for clicks, for views, for money, because it all comes down to money and greed. Let me know what you think about that, guys. This is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news and gossip on YouTube. Leave a like. Leave a comment. I can't get a like, comment, and save my life, girl. All right. Love you. Bye.